so hi everyone and welcome back to our channel salesforce faqs and today in this video we are going to learn about a super useful feature in salesforce that is field history tracking so have you wondered how you can keep track of changes in your data or perhaps you need to audit changes for business analysis so in this video we are going to cover how you can set up field history tracking for any object in salesforce and after that we will also create a custom report in which we will track the field history of an object so first let me tell you what are the field history in salesforce so what exactly is the field history tracking in salesforce so here i would like to explain you with the help of an example so imagine you are working with records like accounts or opportunities and you want to keep track of those changes to specific fields over time like who updated them when and what the old and new values were so that's where we use the field history tracking to get these details so let's say you are managing a sales pipeline and a sales representative changes the opportunity amount or stage but you need to know what it was before the update so you can know these values that were there before the update using the field history tracking so with the field history tracking we can track the values like old value new value and also who made the changes in the field and when it was changed so let's say a uh, stage of an opportunity changes from prospecting to closed one so the field history section of that particular opportunity will show field stage old value new value and their old value will appear as prospecting and the new value will appear as closed one so this is how you will be able to see the field history of any object so in this video i'm going to explain you how you can set up and enable field history tracking in salesforce for a standard as well as for custom object so the process i'm going to explain in this video is going to be the same for other object and as well as the custom objects and also we are going to create a custom report through which we are going to track the field history of large number of records so let's move ahead and see the process so as of now i have logged into my salesforce org and right now i am on the setup page of salesforce lightning and from here we will see how we can set up the field history tracking in salesforce for any object so in this example i am going to enable the field history tracking for the opportunity object so for that we will go on the object manager and then here search and select opportunity so here select the opportunity object so in the object setup you have to first click on the fields and relationships and here you can see the button set history tracking so you have to click on this button and make sure that you have enabled the field history tracking from this checkbox so in my case it is already enabled and after selecting the checkbox you can select the fields that you want to make available for the field history tracking so these are the fields that i have selected for the field history tracking and after this you have to simply click on the save button and now in the setup of the object you have to click on the option page layouts and from here select the default page layout of the object and now in the setup of page layout you have to click on the related list and now in the related list you have to search the field history tracking so here you can see the option opportunity field history tracking so like this you will get this uh, option of field history tracking for each standard and custom object so what you have to do here is you have to drag and drop this to the related list section and after adding the object field history in the related list you have to click on the save button to apply the changes and here click yes to and after adding the field history tracking to the page layout you have to navigate to the object in which you have added the field history tracking so i will navigate to the opportunity object and here we have to open any of the record so on the object record page we have to scroll down to the section object field history so in this case we will go to the section opportunity field history so here you will see the changes that i have made in the values of the fields so here you can see the original value and the new value so these are the values that i have changed and one more thing that you need to keep in mind that we cannot track the field history of the fields that we edited or added prior to enabling the field history tracking that means you can only see the field history details of an object after enabling the field history tracking and any changes or updates that you have made prior enabling the field history tracking you won't be able to see them so this is how you can enable and set up the field history tracking in salesforce so i forgot to tell you one thing that you can also make some changes in the settings from the field directly from the settings of field history so for that you have to go to the quick find box on the setup page of salesforce and here search and select field history tracking so here you can see the setup of all the objects so from this setup you can select the fields that you want to track from an object for example we have selected the opportunity object in this example so i will show you how you can increase or decrease the number of fields that you want to track so for that you have to click on this view button of the object so here you will see the checkbox is activated that is enable opportunity history and also you will see other fields that are there in the opportunity so the check boxes that you will activate here will be visible and available for the field history tracking and after selecting or removing the fields from the field history tracking you have to simply click on the you have to simply click on the save button 
So as of now, we have set up the field history tracking. So after enabling and setting up the field history tracking, we are going to create a custom report on object field history tracking and make sure the object for which you are going to create a report on field history tracking, you have enabled the history tracking for that particular object. So to create a report, we will navigate to the reports tab and for that I will again click on the app launcher and here search and select reports. And in the report tab, we have to click on the button new report. So in this step, we have to select the category and the report type. So in this example, I'm going to create the field history tracking report for the opportunity object. So I will select the category as opportunity. And in case you are going to create the field history tracking report for account and contact or any other object. So you have to select the object accordingly. And in the report type, I will select the option opportunity field history and then click on the button start report. So as you can see, the records are there on the table where you can see the old value and new value of the opportunity field history. And in case there are no records generated on your report table, then you can apply filters for that. For example, uh, I will set the show me to all opportunities instead of my opportunities. And then you will see the number of records are increased. And also you can increase the time range also. So here I've already selected the time range as all time. So here I will click apply. So in my case, the records are already generated. So this is how you can create the field history tracking report. And also you can add or remove the columns from the report table. For that, you have to click on the outline tab and here you can see a list of columns. And when you will click on the cross icon, that particular column will be removed from the report table. And also you can add columns here by searching select. So you can see this column is added. So after creating the report, you have to save and run the report. So I will save and run it. Here we have to select the report name and the report unique name will be auto filled. And after this, you have to select the folder for the report location. So in this example, I will select the location as a public folder. And then after this, I will click on the save button. So as I click save, the report will be saved in the selected folder and it will run in the next window. So this is how you can create an object field history tracking report. So this was all about object field history tracking in Salesforce and also how you can create a report for the object field history tracking. And the process I have explained in this example was for the opportunity record. And you have to follow the same process for enabling or setting up the field history tracking for any custom or standard object. And I hope that you have liked this video. Then please do like, share and subscribe us. And do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regular updates of our upcoming videos. And thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.